Hey, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. New Year's Eve is coming. Let's find out how to create an awesome countdown in Adobe Audition. So here I am inside Audition. This is looking really good, ready to go. And uh, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome countdown. If you've only got yourself on call and you're running up to the wire, it's nearly New Year and you need something really awesome for your gig, for your radio show, for your party, whatever. So just start recording. I'm going to start a mono file here. And then when you start the recording, you just shout 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and do it about two or three times. And every time you do it, vary your voice a bit. So let me show you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Notice every time I was recording, I was varying my voice ever so slightly. If you keep the voice sounding the same, it's just kind of not going to sound so good because you're going to have everything sounding the same. Count door, count down. There we go. Multi-track session here. Uh, now, here I've got my Adobe Audition presets, but do you know what? I'm going to start with a, uh, a blank uh, canvas here to show you how this can be done uh, without any kind of presets. So this is just the standard Adobe Audition template. Let's drag in those 10 to 1s. One. So that's one, that's one. Chopping up, put that one down there, that one down there. There we go. And if I change the time display to be decimal. Uh, let's start over here from 10 so we can place each number on the number it should be. And we're just looking first of all to sync everything up perfectly. And uh, seeing as to be really accurate, this is going to take me a bit of time. I will just speed up this process for you so it's done really quickly. And there we go. It's all done. So uh, that's basically all synced. If you wanted to be super OCD about it all, you could uh, you could actually zoom in and you could apply a little bit of crossfading here to to each number like that and really make it so that you got absolutely no artifacts or background sounds. You get something that sounds like this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. And that's pretty cool. So it went from one Mike Russell to being three Mike Russells in the matter of just seconds, which is great. And really, you can have as many people in the room shouting this as you want. So if you if you say 10 to 1, if you do a 10 to 1 countdown five or 10 times, you can have 10 Mike Russells shouting the New Year countdown if you want. If you want, you can go and grab your partner, your other half, bring them in, get them to shout into the microphone five or six times. Uh, grab your kids, anyone, your next door neighbor, whatever, get them shouting in and then you can just, you know, double trip quadruple it up on different tracks in the multi-track. Final trick I'm going to show you is just a little bit of panning. Even though these are mono files that are in stereo multi-track tracks, so I can go left, right, and then if you're listening in stereo, this is going to sound really good. Ten, nine, eight. So you get that really cool stereo effect. One person's on the left, one person's on the right, or the other way around, and one person's in the center. Uh, obviously, if you had more, you could kind of just move the pan sort of somewhere in the center like that and do all that kind of cool stuff. Um, and the final thing I'll show you is why don't you create a bus, stereo bus. Uh, this is count down voices. And why don't you route everything through to the count down voices? And uh, let's send that one through as well. And then on Countdown Voices, we can use the effects rack to add in stuff like a single band compressor. Let's just compress this so it sounds nice and beefy. Ten. And actually, you can go a little bit more uh, crazy with the compression on this. Move the ratio right up, eight to one. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven. You might need to stick in a noise gate as well just to make it sound super sweet. You can do EQ and stuff like that. Reverb is also a good one to apply to all the voices. Maybe not too wet. Let's keep the dries in here. <laughs> we'll pull this decay up a little bit. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You need to mess around with the wetness though. Ten, nine, to get the amount of delay and decay you want. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is your awesome New Year countdown created for you in just a few minutes inside Adobe Audition. <laughs>